Hi, I'm Jason Mears and I'm going to do a simple overview of the software defined data center. So to begin with, uh, most people know us as the company that built the hypervisor or ESXi or vSphere ESXi. So this is how most people uh, began with VMware. Uh, this was a software defined compute. It was virtualizing CPU and RAM into a pool that we could run multiple virtual machines on top. Following on from that, we worked on software defined storage, which uh, we know as vSAN or Virtual SAN. Uh, this was the technology that allowed us to take commodity hard drives and flash drives and turn it to an enterprise grade storage array. Following on from that, we also introduced NSX, which is our networking and security uh, tool. Uh, this is software defined networking, a technology that de brings network functions up from the switch and into the hypervisor. Uh, so this is our software defined, the, the core building blocks is our software defined data center. ESXi providing software defined compute, vSAN providing software defined storage, and NSX providing software defined networking and security. Now these three core building blocks that make up the software defined data center we've turned into a, a, a real building block or a, a piece of Lego if you want to call it that way and we've bundled these three together in another product called VMware Cloud Foundation or VCF so if I just write here Cloud Foundation for short that's that building block mentality where anywhere we have this installed we can run a complete software defined data center so this is how many people start with with VMware and software defined data center uh, what you tend to have above that would be our vCenter server and that would be the central point of management for everything in this which we'll call data center one so that's fine for a single data center but if you want to move to multiple data centers or data centers and cloud providers you need something else in addition to that and that's the stack that we call our cloud management platform or CMP and that's products that you'll know as vRealize or with all the products together vRealize suite so in that vRealize suite we get um, operations we get the ability to monitor and manage the infrastructure we get things like automation the ability to uh, create virtual machines applications or services from templates or blueprints we also have an ability to cost things which is the business component of vRealize suite and then we also have login and correlation which we call vRealize login site so again, those, those core components there are our cloud management uh, platform, which we call vRealize Suite. So once you've got a cloud management platform, what does that allow you to do that a single VCS server doesn't? So in order to do that, I need to draw another diagram, which would be the same thing that we've got here, which is our cloud foundation. And I'm going to put that in data center one. But what if I want another data center or data center two? If I put Cloud Foundation in that one as well, they will still both have a local vCenter server, which can be used for local management. But the real value comes when I have a central cloud management platform in the middle. So I have a single source of truth and visibility into both data centers. Whether that's your own data center or that's Colo or somebody else, it doesn't matter. We can see across multiple providers and data centers. But the part it gets really interesting is when you use somebody from the VMware Cloud Provider Program, so a cloud provider that also uses Cloud Foundation as the software stack, because then what you can do is integrate uh, data from a, or applications and services from a cloud provider so whether it's on-prem at data center one or data center two or a cloud provider this cloud management platform still is the central source of truth and the central point of management analysis things for capacity risk costing all those kinds of things and again we could stick another cloud provider up here let's do a 
another mega uh, another BCF cloud provider, somebody from the VMware cloud provider program, and that too can be part of a single cloud management platform. So I guess what we're saying is we've gone from uh, a single hypervisor with a vCenter server to where we just had software-defined compute to an environment where we now have software-defined storage and software-defined networking and security in a single site. So that's our software-defined data center. But if you want true um, hybrid cloud or multi-cloud or multi-data center, when we add this cloud management platform or vRealize suite into the mix in the middle, that allows us to manage multiple data centers or multiple cloud providers from a single place. So we still have that ability to manage things locally, but we have this single source of truth and vision across the board. So that, that in short, is, our, is how we've moved from a single hypervisor to a software-defined data center to a cloud management platform, which then gives you a true hybrid cloud or multi-cloud environment. Thank you very much.